Welcome to the Thousand Eyes Platform Overview. We will start with a brief overview of the solution capabilities and then transition into a platform overview. The Thousand Eyes solution is focused on three primary customer use cases. The first centers around customer digital experience. And this is all about providing visibility into the customer's experience as they access services across the internet. This includes visibility into the performance of the entire ecosystem that supports their digital delivery, including CDNs, DNS providers, as well as all the ISPs and service providers that collectively work together to deliver that service to customers. The second is employee digital experience. This is all about assuring that employees are productive as they access services, both internal and SaaS services from offices, on the road, or as they work from home. The third focuses on WAN modernization and as companies adopt modern technologies such as SD-WAN or cloud access security brokers, making sure that the services that they're delivering to their employees and customers and partners are still performing as well or even better as they were prior to the migration and transition. The way the Thousand Eyes platform does this is providing visibility from three perspectives. The first is from our cloud agents. These are located in over 300 points of presence in over 190 cities in over 60 different countries around the world. This provides quick time to value as well as visibility into how effectively can customers access services across the internet from any vantage points that currently exist in tier two and tier three providers in broadband providers, as well as in all the major cloud providers around the world. The second is enterprise agents. These are internal vantage points that provide the exact same capability as cloud agents, but they're deployed inside customers' networks. So think of these as being deployed inside data centers, branch offices, VPCs in the cloud, and it can be deployed on a number of different form factors. Cisco hardware, Docker containers, virtual machines, Linux operating systems, or even Raspberry Pis. The third is the endpoint agent. And this is all about providing visibility from the end user's perspective. So as employees access services, understanding the availability and responsiveness of those services, whether those are internal or SaaS, understanding the service delivery path and the performance of all the networks that combine to deliver that service, as well as extending visibility into the home to understand how the employees' home networks, their Wi-Fi, their providers, uh, collectively work to help make sure that the employee's experience is good. These are deployed on Apple or Microsoft machines. The Thousand Eyes solution provides unique visibility across the entire stack starting with application experience. Whether you're, you're doing a transaction or a page load or even just an HTTP query, understanding what is the user's experience as they access the service. But then having visibility across the entire stack that supports delivering that service, starting with the web tier, making sure that the web layer is available from a geographic perspective, having visibility into are there users in a specific part of the country or world are, are having an issue. Maybe it's not impacting everybody, but it is impacting a subset of your user population. When we talk about network performance, this is having visibility into all networks like they're your own, including those across the internet. So being able to look at things like loss and latency and jitter across the entire end-to-end -end service delivery path. Path visualization capability provides hot by hot view into how services are being delivered including understanding the performance of all ISPs that contribute and combine to deliver that service, and then being able to drill into their network and identify specific nodes in their network that may be disrupting service delivery. And last, BGP monitoring. This is understanding pairing relationships across the internet. This can be extremely valuable when there are things that occur like internet outages to understand both the impact on your service and your business, as well as have information you need to make decisions to potentially minimize the impact and route around an issue. All of this comes down to helping companies run a better business in terms of assuring the availability of services they're delivering to customers, 
assuring that their employees are more productive, and then making sure that when there is an issue, they have the ability to identify that issue very quickly and then have the information they need to resolve it in real time. One of the things that the platform allows for is easy collaboration. So leveraging what we call share links, being able to package up an issue and then share that either with an external provider or even internal to your own company so that the people you're working with to resolve the issue have the same context that you do to help drive a minimal amount of time it takes to resolve and repair and restore the service and the issue. And in terms of automation and integration, the ability to easily integrate into very popular ITSM solutions, um, having the ability to automate things like agent deployments, as well as the configuration of the platform, leveraging the GitHub that we provide as templates to really automate and accelerate deployments. And then last but not least, since the platform is API first, being able to leverage the REST APIs to really address an unlimited set of use cases in terms of driving automation in the platform, as well as integrating things like alerts or data into solutions outside of the platform. With that, let's dive in and take a look. We're gonna start here in a Thousand Eyes dashboard. And what you're looking at here is essentially a collection of services being delivered by PNC Bank. And at the top, what we really wanna understand is at a high level, how well are we delivering all of our services to customers? And that's what this service health summary helps us understand, both from an availability perspective, as well as from a customer experience perspective. And then as we scroll down, we have visibility into both the availability of our services by location. And as you can see here, we're looking at this across the United States, as well as what's the customer's experience in each of these locations. Because maybe a service is not unavailable, but it is performing more slowly than we expect. And it's important to have that kind of context as well. As we scroll down, we can look at the availability and performance by service. So here you can see the services that we're monitoring, an appraiser service, Benefits Plus, business banking, capital markets, online banking, and Pinnacle, and look at the availability as well as the customer experience across the last hour. Um, the goal here is to have more of a, a real-time visibility and perf into performance. And then a little below that, we can look at customer experience by city, as well as the performance of each service over time. In this case, we have more of a day perspective because that will help give us a benchmark in terms of better understanding how these uh, services typically perform. And then we can use that to understand if they're performing worse or on par than they usually do. So from here, we can actually drill in and take a closer look. So let's take a look at the online banking service. What we're looking at here is at, you know, starting with the customer experience as they access the online banking portal. Um, and as you can see here, it's taking on average uh, about five seconds uh, for customers to access the portal. Um, I'm looking at this from multiple different vantage points across the US, which is highlighted down here on this graph. And if I wanted to take a closer look across all the different locations, I can quickly do that to see you know, what is the, the relative performance? And, and I can see, you know, for folks that are in Miami, you know, their experience is significantly better than, you know, customers coming in from Chicago, for example. When I look at the HTTP or, or the web tier, this provides me visibility into both the availability and responsiveness of the application from a, a HTT perspective. And one of the things I can look at here is the response time, again, across all the locations, and it's broken out into phases. So how long did it take to resolve the name? How long did it take to connect? How long did it take to negotiate SSL, as well as wait time? This can be extremely valuable when you're trying to troubleshoot the root cause of an issue, trying to figure out is it application or network related, and you know, really giving you the information you need at your fingertips to resolve issues very quickly. 
In terms of the network view, here we can look at loss latency jitter, but we're doing it across the entire service delivery path. So what does that mean? We're looking at it across all the networks that collectively work together to deliver this service to customers in each of those cities. This is a very unique perspective and visibility that the Thousand Eyes platform provides. So now as I look at path visualization, what this is showing me is on the left-hand side, this is where uh, my customers are, are coming in from. And I can see their entire journey across the internet, including all the different providers that they traverse to get to the services. In this case from LA, we're going across Pier 1, Level 3. And then ultimately on the right, what I see here is this service is front-ended by Akamai as the CDN provider. And if I drill in a little bit, I can see depending on where users are coming in from, they're being you know, directed to a, a different IP. The whole point there is making sure that you know, the, the services they're accessing, in this case online banking, is as close to the users as possible to ensure as great an experience as possible. The other thing I have the ability to do is actually drill in and look at the actual nodes inside a network. In this case, we're looking at the nodes inside a GTT, and the red lines here indicating that there's elevated latency, in this case, 27 milliseconds, a little higher than what we usually would see. And again, this could be very helpful if we're seeing that customers in Chicago are, are having a slower experience than usual, having the ability to drill down to this level of detail will give me information I need to better understand the context of that problem. And then the BGP route visualization view what we'll see here is we already know that Akamai is on the front end of this online banking service, and that's highlighted here. So we can see that PNC is essentially leveraging Akamai as their CDN, and then we can see all the different providers that Akamai appear with. This can be extremely helpful when there's an issue across the internet that's impacting customers' ability to get to the online banking service. And then uh, PNC could leverage that information to notify Akamai to make some changes in terms of how they're routing their traffic to route around and avoid a potentially service disrupting outage. The other thing I want to highlight is you can save events and make these available for review later. And this is configurable in terms of the time frame you want to save the event. Or I made mention to earlier you can create what's called a share link. Share links are interactive snapshots, and all you have to do here is put in an email if you want to send this to somebody, define the time frame, and what will happen is you'll get an email, similar uh, URL similar to the one you see here, that will allow anybody to access the same view in an interactive manner that we're looking at here to help drive down the time it takes to resolve an issue. Thank you for watching.